Hey YouTubers, I'm Jacob. This is a how-to video for upgrading from an old three-wire alternator to a one-wire alternator and going from 75 amps to 140 amps. I'll show you everything you need to do to wire it up on my 79 Bronco. I've included links to all the products, tools I'm using today in the description below. So make sure to click on those, check them out. I'm also posting weekly videos, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel to follow along. All right, let's get into it. If your upper alternator bolt comes into contact with the radiator fan, it's best to loosen the shroud and remove the fan blade as needed. If you're worried about jumping up in size on the alternator, you can see a huge jump in technology has allowed alternators to reduce in size yet increase in capacity while also including internal voltage regulators. With a different positive post location, I'll need to install my new charging cable before mounting up the alternator. It also helps to mount a new grounding strap for the alternator at the engine ahead of time. Okay, so I got my 150 amp fuse in line with the alternator. It's my alternator wire going down, kind of hidden underneath there. I have the ground for the alternator to the ground on the engine block. And then the original alternator wiring, I have the positive hooked up to the positive side on the starter solenoid. The other two, I just taped them off for now. And then also unplug the external regulator. So I wanna make sure you unplug all parts of it. This should be everything that you need to do to convert from a three wire alternator to a one wire alternator. And we're gonna get it fired up, show you how well it works. Thanks for watching my how-to video for installing a Tough Stuff 140 amp one wire alternator and converting it from a three to one wire. I've been running this for a little over a month now and it's been a huge upgrade over the stock alternator. Big power gains, it will run my Vintage Air AC kit which does require a larger alternator to run it. I'm also able to run my stereo and some additional off-road lighting. I've included links to all the products and tools I use in the description below so make sure to click on those and check them out. And I'm posting weekly videos for you guys on my 1979 Ford Bronco and 2015 F-150 so don't forget to subscribe to the channel to follow along. Thanks for watching.